everybody, Laura here with the South Carolina State Museum. If you're watching this video, it means you're celebrating Oztober with us and you have one of our really fun activity kits. This particular activity kit is going to be our paper ghost activity. It's one of my favorites. I love the fringy bottom and I love that it works those motor skills, those scissor cutting motor skills too. So let's take a look at what's in your bag and how you can make one yourself. The activity doesn't require a whole lot this time, Two different sheets of paper are what we are going to give you, one with a ghost and one with really long lines. You're going to need a pair of scissors and some glue as well. Now the very first thing you've got to do is simply cut out your ghost. Through the magic of recording, snip, 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 <laughs> I have a ghost cut out. So you're simply going to cut out the, around the outline of the ghost. Just cut one of the ghosts out. And now the next thing you're going to do with your piece of paper is cut the lines. All you gotta do is cut the lines. But now if you look and you notice, when I spread this apart, they are not cut all the way down. They're cut till about two inches from the top. The other thing you're going to do is you are going to cut off entirely this piece right here at the end, the very long piece. You can cut that off entirely, Doo -doo -doo, just like that. Then you can cut off this other large piece on this side, just like that. And you can cut those completely off. And then like I said before, you're going to just take your scissors and cut almost all the way down, but not quite. Leave about two inches from the top. Adults, this might be a good time to maybe use a pencil or a marker or something and just draw a line or something for our younger friends who might not be as good at gauging how far to go. Now all you have to do is tape your fringe to your ghost. I'm gonna show you really quick what I mean. If I flip them back and forth, you can kind of see where everything is. So they're all still attached to this one piece of paper. But guess what? If you accidentally cut through all the way, not a big deal. You can just glue the pieces on individually or tape. This is a good activity for tape as well. So I'm going to flip my ghost over on its belly and I'm going to keep this up to where I can see the lines. And I'm going to add a little bit of glue here at the top. Remember, you don't need a whole lot. Just a little bit of glue goes a long way. And I'm going to put my fringe on my ghost. I'm going to press down, just like that. Now, when I flip my ghost over, I'm going to have some fringe left over. And that's okay. I'm just going to take my scissors and trim. I'm going to trim around my ghost, just like that. Same thing for the other side, just like that. Beautiful, perfect. Now, the thing everybody always wants to know is, how do I get that really curly bottom? Well, there are a couple of ways to do this. One way is to simply take the paper and curl it by hand, like that. If you just curl it around and kind of pull a little bit, make a tight curl, the paper will start to curl, okay? And you just kind of keep bending it and flexing it until it does it. The other way to do this is to actually hold down really tight on one end and use your finger and pull, and you'll get a little bit of a curl that way. The more you do it, the more, see how I'm starting to get a little bit more of a curl? There we go, so it's starting to curl a little bit. Now, the other way to do it is to wrap it around your finger entirely, and this involves moving the ghost around. So you're gonna wrap it around your finger really, really, really tight one or two fingers, just like that, and then release, and you'll have a little curl. The other way that you could do this, though, that makes a really good curl, is by asking an adult to help you and using the inside blade of your scissors. Now, I do think an adult needs to help you do this part, but if you want these really big curls right here, your adult can take the scissors and they can put it towards the end, and just like they're curling ribbon for the holidays, or for a birthday present or something, they can pull. Now, if you curl it in different areas, say you just do the bottom, it'll end up looking a little bit different. So there are a few different ways to get those curls in. It just kind of depends on how you want to do it. I'm a big fan of just kind of playing with my fingers and rolling it up really tight. Doo -doo -doo. And I roll it into a little ball like that. You can see my little ball. And I just kind of massage it a little bit back and forth. And look at that, I've got just as good a curl as that scissor did right there. I'm gonna do that again, I'm gonna show you again. I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna roll it into its own little circle. 
and just roll it up. And then I'm going to put a little tiny bit of pressure. I'm not going to smoosh it entirely. I'm just going to kind of put a little pressure on it and then let it go. And I've got some curls. So you do that for all of them. Um, and you keep on going until you've got the curls and the fringe that you want and you have your own little ghost. You can hang it, you can attach some string to it and hang it up so that it floats around or you can just hang it on the bridge if you want to. Thanks so much for joining us. I hope you had a good time. We hope you're having a wonderful October. And most of all, thank you so much for being a member. We couldn't do it without you. Thanks, y'all. Bye.